Hello and welcome back to E4 Burgundian Heritage. And um, let's see what we can what we can accomplish this episode. Uh, I want to try to attack Savoy now. How is the ah yikes? Right, it's actually quite high. Uh, it, the thing is, we want. We want a need to attack for um, Romandier and the Savoy state, which uh, we only have for Grecia and Siamberi for the time being. Uh, Leone and uh, Dauphine is still not something we have a claim on, so... We don't have all of it, but if we attack uh, Savoy and take all of their provinces up here in the Swiss and French region, then we should be able to do things. Now, we need to let like we have to get our um uh, we have to get our um aggressive expansion to go down we we have to make it go down uh let's remove those horses those 1,000 horses. Let's bring the stack up here and let's see what we can do. We should have our exploration fleet ready right now. There we go. Let's send you if I could, but I can't. Uh... Yes to that one, yes to you, and yes to you. Um, I want to do this so I can actually get more uh, monarch power because, yeah, we, um, we're a bit behind. The only thing we are ahead of time or on time with, actually, to be more precise, is military tech. Um, let's actually take six of them and uh, bring them up here we have very bad manpower but better than nothing I'm going to keep my alliance with um, Austria for as long as possible. Because, yeah, we um, kind of want it. How uh, is this looking? Yep, we have done this. Let's bring you back here. And yeah, we have no manpower and our um, aggressive expansion is still quite high. So I think what we want to do is see if we can get some manpower back and then um, see if we can lower our aggressive expansion as much as possible. Um, let's do an insult on Castile to bring that up. Uh, this one should soonish be up. Uh, we have 
two of them. And that's it. How is the... All right. Um... Uh... Oh... Jumping on this might actually be good. Since... <clears throat> it is 16 development, so... But yeah, uh, I'm going to just jump on this one. He only has Nassau as a... As an alliance, so... There we go, and what I want to do is see if I can get my absolute lowest development province and do some promote settlement growth. one to be honest uh, right now going to remove these and um, there we go that one is done let's bring you to the capital let's have you do this Yeah, they don't have any uh, people left, so I'm just going to sit on this until we have uh, taken it. Like, the planet is going ham on basically everybody around them. Which is interesting, because sometimes they do sometimes they don't here we go and let's see what we can squeeze out of this now we technically do have a permanent claim on nasa but i don't think we actually want to do anything there Let's annul the alliance with Palatinet and Frankfurt and let's stop there and let's take the transfer trade power and off we go. Uh, whoops. Uh, let's bring it up there. Let's. Yep. And we don't get a coalition. Here we go. And we get the uh, center of trade. <coughs> now, the coalition. Oh, right. The aggressive expansion is up to f almost 50 with, with a lot of nations. So yeah, we did, but that was a good war, quick war that gave us a lot of good stuff. Now I need diplomatic power, like a lot of it. And I wanted to 
could probably do that overseas exploration as well, but after that I need the uh, diplomatic power. I, I don't like the fact that I changed how this works. Uh, in the way that they have done it, to be honest. Uh, oh, yeah. Get the alliance back with the papal state and... Um, improve relations. And... Uh, yeah, once we have done that, we will, uh... Oh, but you're... Um... Oh, but I could possibly vassalize you. Which would mean that even if I integrate them... We should have just more goodness. Let's um, good new pope. Uh, we have 200, so I want to increase that one. We no longer have a truce with France. He's still allied with Provence. Which I don't really understand why, because France doesn't want to be allied with Provence. They want to attack them. Unless you think you can get a personal union over them or something like that but yeah most of the time i would probably just conquer them uh, let's see what we there we go Um, yeah, we are going to have to see if we can do this. Then remove the prestige and let's go down there. Granada and separatist. What the? Why are you going this way? What are they doing? Who knows? Um. Yeah, for some reason I just I have seen this happen before where where the Granada separatists for some reason start wandering into Europe for no apparent reason whatsoever. But yeah. Um Let's see, how is the... It's down to like 40. 42 with Liege. Now we can start exploring. That's good, good. Um, France has 28 aggressive expansion with us. That is not ideal, but it is what it is. Um, I 
yeah, we, we still don't have... Like, good... We still don't have good... Um, manpower, so I really don't want to attack if I can avoid it. We now have the core, Strasbourg. That's good. And... Yeah, let, let's do it. A, let's make it a full core as well. And... Um, uh, what? Mulhouse is not... Uh, Okay. Why aren't you a free city? Or is it not a free city anymore? Or. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Might not actually be a free city anymore. Or something along those lines. I'm not sure. Whatever. Uh, since Aust since Austria is allied to uh, Mulhouse, we shouldn't have to fear the whole thing that Austria is going to attack them. Now, it seems like Austria is not going the conquering route this time which is nice allied to venice now venice isn't well off when it comes to terms of manpower or, or money but hmm England is annexing a bunch of uh, nations, which is well, not really historical, but whatever. At least not in the way that they are the vassal. We don't have any more vassals? Nope. Okay. Um... Let's see. Did I get as a nation with a capital in Europe, Asia or Africa, discovered at least one province in either North or South America. Okay, I haven't I just discovered sea tiles so far. Uh take that one. And finally get this one, which means I will earn more money. Maybe. <laughs> Not a lot, to be honest, but... Um... I don't really want to fight Venice because they have a... L quite big economic base which means yeah they would be annoying to fight and that's more or less the only reason why it would be annoying to fight so um oh for some reason, Poland has taken Slupsk and Santok. Okay, that's interesting. And since Poland has this province here, Stetting, Stetting can't create Pomerania, which needs that last province. Oh, that's interesting and uh, annoying for them. Why did my economy just 
die there for that month. And now it's back again. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, it's not that bad. But... Yeah, it could be a lot better. Let's see if we can actually get um, the Curia. That would be nice. I, I don't think we can. It's fairly unlikely you get it and I usually don't spend more than like one or two clicks so uh, they have changed how this how all of this works and um, yeah I don't have the money to give the people curia any anything so I'm not going to And we have nothing else to explore at the moment. And uh, okay, he became a vassal. That's interesting. Just out of nowhere. And once again, I'm losing money for some reason. Why am I losing money? What is making me lose money? Um, who did you ally? Provence, Castile, Genoa, Naples. Okay, whatever. Um... Yeah, something is making me lose a lot of money. Let's remove this one. That is like two ducats, just that. So. Uh, Down to like 33, 31, 29, 26, 19, 14. I am. Um, I think it might actually be possible to attack and if I oh I can't because I'm attacking something that is part of the empire which means I can't bring them into the war right they will only join a war if I get attacked in that regard um So I would need to basically, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and now I need uh, the next level of um, diplomatic uh, tech. Like, I can't keep on going without it. It's not possible. 
Um, yeah, and I need the tech now. Uh, above other stuff, so... Let's see here. What could we do? I could do this. But I'd rather just let one more day go by so I can do that. Now, if I go up to take seven, yeah, I get a lot more colonial range. So I will try to do that. I'm so far behind on Diplo. It's insane. And that is because of the... The whole thing with... Um, um, that zero Diplo... thingy we had before it's really annoying with um, those kinds of um, uh, rulers because it's not really anything you can do about it like you can't fix it can't necessarily do anything about it and because of how burgundy works you don't really want to try to fix it because you actually want to join the hre which means you need the burgundian inheritance to fire which means you actually have to suck it up and take that bad ruler i don't understand why venice is a allied with Savoy now it's probably because of Milan probably and the papal state yeah it's probably because of Milan and the papal state this looking it's looking okay so basically i need to find an opportunity that's all i need to do right now so yeah we'll we'll see uh we'll try to get some more money did you get another alliance Yes, Laka. Uh, issue embargo. And France entered a military alliance with Venice. Of course. Of course. Now, that means it would actually be good to attack Savoy. Because that would mean we could annul the alliance between Venice and France. And of course, France is allied with Castile. Because why not? Uh, it's because I'm uh, rival to both of them, most likely. 
and they aren't rivaled with each other. Now, that's not necessarily going to stay... Um, the same way all the time, but we'll see. Yeah, Aragon isn't looking that good. Now, if um, Iberian Wedding happens, um, it's not going to be that good of an Iberian ve Wedding, so... Or should I go for this instead? Regardless, I believe we should end the episode here. So, a bit of a cliffhanger of what we are going to do in the next episode. Uh, regardless of ex exactly who we attack, we need to attack someone. And uh, I think a quick war against Gellerim might be what we want to do. Uh, easy Wars is probably the most profitable thing you can do, so that's probably what we are going to do. Uh, but yeah, so with that, thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.